One of the most common frustrations when learning a video editing software is understanding the workspace. And one quick troubleshooting tip I often give anyone who's having trouble locating a button or finding out a window or something's just not going right is resetting the workspace. So if you ever go to window workspaces, you can see this whole panel of different kind of preset workspaces. And one trick to keep in your pocket is reset to saved layout. This will always just default you back to kind of like the default workspace that has everything that you should need to follow along with most tutorials and, and whatnot. So what you have on the top here is a bunch of presets. So you have learning, this kind of just opens up these helpful tabs on the side. Uh, you have assembly. What this does is it isolates all the panels necessary for kind of dragging and assembling clips together. You see, we don't really have the effects panel or anything. We just have the bigger project media panel so you can see more clips, the program window so you can take a look at them, and then the timeline, basically the essentials of kind of assembling things together. Then you have editing. This will bring in the source window, the effect controls panel, and you see it kind of brings in the toolbar and other things. Now, this is not to say that you need to work in this way, like just because you're assembling or working on the color or effects doesn't mean you need to switch to these tabs. It's just kind of one style of workflow. Me personally, I just usually just stick to all panels. You have basically everything you need. And, you know, if you want to open up the Lumetri color panel, you can. If you want to open up the sound or the graphics or text panels, you can, and you kind of have everything there for you. But in general, like if you ever accidentally close something or you close a panel or un undock panels, all of this is uh, flexible and customizable. So if things just get messed up or uh, another um, common problem I've seen in, in a lot of beginner or just anyone is if you accidentally double click on a panel, all of a sudden it goes full screen and you're like, uh, I don't know how to get everything back, where'd everything go, can't work anymore. Remember that quick window, workspaces, reset to save layout. It can honestly be a, a really great troubleshooter for a lot of common beginner mistakes. The other thing that you have in the Windows menu, menu is all the individual panels. So this is what's in the default. You know, you have the effects panels, all this, and but you see some stuff is hidden, uh, such as the learn panel. So if I did want to pop that open or close it, I can always check or uncheck it in the in the window panel. And again, if you ever wanted to kind of dock it in as a tab, you can do that inside any one of these panels. And in this way, you can actually create your own custom workspaces. Um, you know, for some reason, the default saved layout, it likes to have this bigger source window and staggered program window. I don't know why, but me personally, I just, I like it like this, more aligned. Um, and, and symmetrical, just my taste. And if you want, you can always go to Window Workspaces and you can save as a new workspace. So I could save this as Justin's editing space. So if I know that, you know, the types of projects that I edit never use the captions panel or never use certain sections because I'm only working on specific types of projects, I can create my own custom layouts and save them. And then you'll see them in the preset workspaces. You'll see I can always just choose Justin's editing space or or maybe you can have your own color grading workspace that you set up and whatever you want, really. So in general, that's a basic overview of this window workspaces section. But in general, in summary, You've got your timeline where you can arrange and scrub through all your clips and sequence. You can see what's on the timeline here in the program window and reference window. On the right hand side, you have all the panels like effects and text that you can drag and adjust whenever you highlight a clip. And when you do highlight different clips, uh, you, op you can open up the effects controls of them. You can look at the different scopes and audio channels. And if you ever double click on a clip, It'll open it up in the source monitor where you can kind of scrub through and work 
in different portions of that clip without actually dragging it onto the timeline. Again, if you want some more in-depth tutorials on what all of these different panels and what's inside them do, I have separate tutorials, you know, all on understanding the timeline, understanding all the tools in the toolbar, understanding how the project media panel works and all of that. So my name is Justin Odisho. You can check out more in the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.